Hey, what up? It is your girl, MD, and welcome back to my channel. If you are not subscribed, make sure you do so before you head out. Today is day 14 of Vlogmas, and I am going to be showing you guys this holiday glam look. I know that this is not a makeup channel, but you guys do ask me actually a lot about my makeup. So what I'm going to do is show you just how I do my eyes, and I'm just going to clip it to be like... 15 to 30 seconds and then we are going to move on to hair i will put every single thing that i have on my face in the description box so if you guys are interested in that make sure you check it out all right so let's get on to these eyes so this is literally one of my favorite palettes it's um color pop and it's a collab with makeup by shayla it is well used the color september on my lid and played out in my crease i like to take a blending brush and Make sure I kind of blend it at the top so it's not too harsh of a line up there. Play it out and just put it in my crease. Then I like to go back and forth with my blending brush just to make sure that it looks nice. I'm going to put my liquid eyeliner on and mascara and that is it. Okay, so we officially have our eyes, our face all done, and now I'm just going to start on with hair. So we're going to do a slick high ponytail. I don't know, I like to kind of put it very very high <laughs> so about there yeah okay so i am using wetline extreme gel water a bristle brush and edge control for my baby hairs you can also use hairspray and a comb if that works better for you you can also blow your hair out if you want a more like smoother sleeker look i don't mind the wavy look of my ponytail i actually kind of like it so but if you don't want that like obviously you can blow dry your hair and get a more clean sleek look um, so yeah, I'm just putting a generous amount of this gel on my hair. And for this look in particular, you want to make sure that you really pay attention to the back of your head as well. I typically don't. I just kind of like brush up the front of my hair and kind of brush up the back a little bit. But if it looks like maybe a little untamed, I won't really care. But for this, I want all of it to be sleek all around from front to back. So yeah, make sure you pay attention to that. Okay, so now I'm just going to braid this section of my hair. So last time I did it, the very top part of the braid, so this part of the braid, it was really chunky and it was harder for me to hide it. So try and make it as small as possible. And so how I've done that is by just when I braid it, pull it tight. And now I'm just going to do my baby hairs with some edge control. I like how like a little while ago, I was like, oh, I don't really like baby hairs. Like they're just kind of like, I don't really care about them. And lately all I've been doing is slicking down my baby hairs lately. I'm just like, Melissa, two days ago, you said you hated baby hairs, but here we are. And I'm just going to tie my hair down super duper tight, like headache tight. So I'm going to be using these black, these clip-ins that I've honestly had for maybe like three years, but they used to be like ombre. It was like a little bit darker brown at the top and then kind of like a golden honey at the tips and I dyed them black. I did do this in my curly clip-in ponytail video, but I'm just gonna quickly show you it again. And I'm just going to take one of my larger clip-ins and start at this point in my ponytail and it's going to take the clip take one of you're going to take the first clip and clip it into your braid and then you just want to wrap it around the braid in a diagonal like going up so like a staircase spiraling up wrap and clip wrap and clip make sure to kind of do it a little tight and then when you finish with your first clip in then you want to start where you ended. So where you ended on your first clip-in, I'm going to start with my my second clip-in. And I am just going to, again, clip and wrap, clip and wrap, clip and wrap, until I get to the very top of my ponytail. And what it does, it just literally disguises your braid. You can't even see or tell. Um, so then at the very top, I'm just going to take a piece from the back and wrap it around. But honestly, if you look at it, you can't even really tell. Like it doesn't even like look that bad if I didn't wrap it. And you want to make sure it's nice and sleek, that piece, and then just wrap it. And we're just going to secure it with a bobby pin it in bigger chunks. So it kind of makes it more of a wave than a curl. And then I'm just going to kind of run my fingers through it or even get a brush and brush it out. And what I like about this is that it's so easy, so fast, and you can transform your hair from looking 
crazy to just looking like fabulous and glamorous in all of what 10-15 minutes and it's very user friendly so even if you're not big on styling your hair you can easily do this look okay so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you're not subscribed you know what to do and leave me some comments down below letting me know how you like to glam up for christmas or do you glam down like what is your style for your holiday season looks all right well like always i love you i appreciate you and i'll see you guys in my next video peace